footage, we're still on our way to the Carolina Rally and Potluck in Sanford, North Carolina at the old Gilliam Mill. And you'll actually see us arrive at the end of the video. Right now we're coming into Winsboro, South Carolina. And sometimes you just have to stop and eat. We're stopping at McDonald's here to grab us some lunch. After lunch, we get back on the road. My son's riding his BMW R75-6, that's me in the front, on the 2008 Tourist. In South Carolina, we stayed off of the interstates. The back roads were interesting in places, to say the least. Uh, some of them narrower than others, uh, but for the most part, there were good roads, good straight roads. You just have to kind of pay attention, especially when we got into North Carolina. You'll see that coming up. Mostly good weather along the way. We did get into just a couple. You can see some drops on the camera, just a few sprinkles here and there, but never so much we had to pull over and put on our rain gear. So we kind of lucked out, if you will. We always got there just after the rain or got through it before the rain really started. So how do you prepare to set off on an 800 mile motorcycle trip with sidecars uh, for camping? Um, a fairly decent amount of planning went into this. Not not too much, but we did plan it. We planned the route, the area that we wanted to go. And we had to really be selective on what we took with us. Um, this is the first time that we've done something like this. And you, you find out when you go in a truck, uh, have an F-350 dually that we generally go places in. That's our our vacation vehicle and you've got plenty of room so there's no discretion on what you take you just think you need it you throw it in but when you go off on these sidecar rigs you have very limited space availability so we had to be very selective about what we took and really boil it down to the things that were really necessary without taking anything that it was questionable and we did manage to do it. Uh, we packed both sidecars out, and my son has his duffel bag on the back of his BMW. Now, breakdowns sometimes are inevitable. Fortunately, this trip went just fine. We didn't have any major mechanical issues. We did have a bad battery on the uh, 2010 Patrol, my wife's ride, uh, and ironically, it was a brand new battery. Um, when we originally bought the battery and put it in, it didn't work uh, immediately. We bought it from the local auto parts store here. So we took it back, they tested it, it was bad. We got a replacement battery and put it in and it lasted all of three months. So we had to take it back and get it replaced again uh, after we got back from this trip. But uh, The Urals do have kickstart on them, so it wasn't that big of a deal. We were able to kickstart it and one morning we just push started it to, to get it going. Now remember I said there were narrow back roads and you, you got to pay attention when you're out riding. Now the first thing to notice on this road we're coming on is that see the speed limit sign there is 45 miles per hour. And we're doing 45 to 50. We're doing the speed limit going along on the South Carolina road as we approach North Carolina. But I, I missed an important sign that's coming up here. Um, you know, you're on a 45 mile per hour road, it's a, a good road. You see this sign here, pay attention to that because there's a turn coming up. We'll drop back down to real time to watch this. Uh, that for me was completely unexpected. Now I'm on the radio out in front of people and it's worse than it looks really uh, how far I went over. I knew there, obviously saw there was not a car in the opposing lane, so I just drifted on over. I could have kept it in my lane, but it kind of surprised us. And now the speed limit is 55 miles per hour, and look how narrow and small these roads got. I mean, I'm, I'm on a Ural sidecar rig, and I'm just about touching both sides of the lane. And it continued on like this for some time. I was amazed the speed limit was 55 here. Uh, of course, we weren't doing 55. We were still doing about 45 mile per hour on these uh, North Carolina back roads. But 
Now watch this ambush dog. He was hiding in the grass and he charged out at me as we went by. And then he does the same thing to my son. And he did the same thing to my wife as she went by. And I radioed back to warn him. But uh, he was hiding very well in the grass. And he would just charge out and turn around and go back in the grass. Uh, not sure what his game plan is there. Uh, if he catches a truck one day, it's going to be all over for him. And we skipped ahead a little bit. We're actually in North Carolina approaching Old Gilliam Mill Park. You can see that we got just behind the rain here, so we were fortunate again. We didn't actually get there while it was raining. And the roads going into Old Gilliam uh, Mill Park area into Sanford were good roads. Uh, the, the quality of the roads was great going up there, but the scenery was just amazing to get off the interstate and enjoy the scenery that is the back roads that's hardly seen anymore. Uh, it, it was just an amazing trip to, to head up there. And I would encourage everyone, if you're in a car or on a motorcycle, whatever the case may be, plan a trip one day and avoid the interstates. Go into Google Maps, plan your route, go into options, and set it to avoid highways and just try that one day. Yeah, it'll take you a little bit longer to, to go, but it's, it's worth it. And here we are arriving at Old Gilliam Mill Park. You can see that walk through covered bridge on the left. Uh, amazing old bridge. And it's closed off to car traffic or anything. You can get out and walk through it though. And here we are turning into Old Gilliam Mill. It's a uh, old uh, still functional sawmill that you can watch when they turn it up. They turned it up or brought it back online the weekend after we left. But it's it's a large private campground. You can't rent just individual campsites. You can rent the entire park out for an event, which is what the Carolina Rally and Potluck did. If you notice in my mirrors, you can see my son and my wife following me in here. Already people have started waving at us as we get there and you know, this is a gathering of Ural sidecar enthusiasts so there's a lot of sidecars around needless to say and you can see our campsite we chose right there on the right uh, after we got here and got settled in we actually pitched our tent over there you'll see that in some footage that's coming up soon. I hope you're enjoying the videos and remember to subscribe and like and we'll be bringing more of our travel videos to you in the future. Good.